All right, let's break down these two star-like problems. So our first question says, which of the following figures represents three over eight or three eighths? Okay, so I know I'm looking at a fraction, so I probably should label my cowboy and horse. So remember, your cowboy is your top number, he rides on top, um, and your horse is your bottom number. So I'm just gonna go ahead and rewrite. The cowboy is three, right? And the horse is an eight. And so we're looking for these three, we're looking for which ones actually match, right? Which ones represent this same fraction, okay? So I'm gonna label my cowboy and horse. Well, I know when a fraction or a division is written like this, then we always say cowboy leads horse. So in this one, the cowboy is an eight, okay? We want the cowboy to be a three. So because the cowboy is not a three, figure one is no good. So any answer that has figure one in it is a wrong answer. So I can go ahead and eliminate A and D simply because A has figure one and D has all figures, okay? So we've eliminated figure one because um, our cowboy is an eight and here in our answer, we, our cowboy is a three, okay? So let's keep going, figure two going to label my cowboy and horse. Remember the cowboy's inside the house, so there's that, and then my horse is outside. So again, my cowboy for this problem was an eight, right, inside the house. So actually these two match, but we're trying to match the one in the question. So again, figure two is wrong, and so anything with figure two in it I can mark out. And so right now I've eliminated it down to figure three, but I am gonna go ahead and just label and make sure that I didn't mess up somewhere. So I have figure three. Again, when a fraction or a division is written this way, it's always cowboy leads horse, okay? So in this case, my cowboy is a three and my horse was an eight. And that actually exactly matches my question. And so figure three is the best answer, okay? Is the best answer. So don't overthink those problems. If you label your cowboy and horse, it makes everything much easier, okay? All right, let's try the next problem. The next problem is a multi-step problem. It is definitely something you might see on Star, so we do need to break it down. So it says, Kira is purchasing some meat for a family barbecue. The table below shows the prices per pound of different meats at the store. So we have ground beef, chicken, and pork, and then their prices per pound. So for every single one pound, that's the price, okay? So then the question says, Kira will purchase three and one-fifths pounds of chicken. Okay, this was on your homework a few uh, weeks ago, and <clears throat> we had a lot of people struggling with it, okay? So we know we're buying three and one-fifths pounds of chicken, so that's important information. Okay, they're looking for the total, and we know that we're paying a price per pound, okay? And a price per pound tells us to multiply, okay? Per is our big multiplying word. So for every pound here, we're gonna multiply by a dollar here, the dollars here, okay? And we need to focus on chicken, okay, chicken. So I'm going to box chicken and then I am actually going to scribble out the others because we don't care about those prices right now. We're buying chicken, okay? So now I'm gonna start setting up my problem. So I know to multiply, so I'm gonna put a multiplication symbol. I know I'm doing the cost, the price, times, right? Times the pounds. So my cost is $2.15 times or per, and then our pounds. And again, our pounds was three, and one fifth. So you'll notice that we have, again, a combo problem. <clears throat> we have a decimal and a fraction. So anytime we have both, we turn everything into a decimal. It's just gonna make things easier. So this part is already a decimal, so I'm just gonna rewrite it. It's still gonna be multiplication. And I know that I'm gonna have a whole number three and then a decimal something. If you have your fraction one-fifth memorized, great, then you can just move on. If you don't, then you need to pop over here and cowboy and horse divide it. So I am going to label that cowboy and horse. 
So cowboy is the one, horse is the five. That way I can properly set up my division. All right, five does not go into one, but it goes into 10 two times. Two times five is 10 and I'm done dividing. So my one fifth actually equals 0.2. So I already have the decimal, I already have the decimal. So all I have to do is put the two at the back. And now I have all decimals and I'm ready to just solve like normal with decimals. So I'm gonna stack using my longest number on top, 2.15 times 3.2. Okay, I'm gonna multiply out the two first. Two times five is 10, zero carry the one. Two times one is two, plus one is three. Two times two is four. I'm done with the two, I cross it off, and then I get rid of all my carries. I start with my three. My three is in the tens place, and tens have a zero. So then three times five is 15. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4, and 3 times 2 is 6. We add those together, and we end up getting 6,880, but I know I'm working with decimals, so I know I need to go back and count all the numbers behind the decimal. In this case, I have 1, 2, 3, so I'm going to take that decimal and hop once, twice, three times. And so my answer for the price of my chicken will be $6.88. Guys, I know this was a long problem, but take your time, show all of your work. Okay, you can see it was a lot of work, but you can do each step. You guys are really good at each step. All right, and today's magic word is happy. Today's magic word is happy. Have a great day.